peaches, welcome back to Dear Peachy. We're firm believers that all eye shapes offer a totally unique beauty look. Of course, it's no secret that different eye shapes require their own makeup techniques to define them in just the right way. If you have monolid eyes, you probably know by now that perfecting eye makeup for your eye shape can be difficult. Nailing a sharp feline flick, blending your eyeshadow correctly, or any other tricky eye makeup look takes time, perseverance, and makeup remover by the leader. However, if you're ready to master monolid makeup, we've got you covered. In this video, we will be sharing some useful tips so you can score the perfect monolid eye makeup looks. This video will be divided into two parts. First part, we will walk you through the three easy step in enhancing your eye shape. Second part, we will introduce you to the new eyeshadow technique that has been using by the Korean Idols MUA. Without further ado, let's get into it now. Makeup styles are never a one size fits all. But here are some of the easiest tips that this Chinese Duyang Guru, Nico is going to show you guys how to enhance your monolids. We were always talking about the effective makeup for double lid eyes, so this video can guide us how to accentuate the beauty of monolid effectively. First step, to puffing your eyes. For eyeshadow, always pick eyeshadow palette with low saturation colors, like the earth tone shade she is showing here. Then, take the new tone eyeshadow to set as the base for the upper and lower eyelid. Next, get a shade that is close to your nose contour shade. If you have cool toned skin, pick the shade with gray undertone. Or if you have warm skin tone, you can go with shade with brown undertone. Take the eyeshadow and blend it at the area that appears puffy. We have noticed that she first blends more at the front portion of her lid here, and she brings the brush towards the end of the lid close to her lash line. You will need to observe by checking if your eyeshadows can be seen when you open your eyes. You can do this repeatedly to ensure until you achieve the desired outcome. Remember to blend out the eyeshadows to get the natural looking effect. Next, we will need to enhance the outer lower lash line. Nico says that most of the Korean makeup artists often apply this technique on their celebrities. With the same shade, use a finer brush and blend at the outer lash line like this. Don't forget to enhance the egg yolk cell too. We are also using the same shade to trace out the shadows for egg yolk cell. With a flat brush, trace a line right below the middle of your iris. Blend out the shadows to make them look natural. Coming to the second step, extend the eye shape with eyeliner. First thing, get yourself a brown color gel liner. Start filling the eyeliner at the last third of your upper eyelid. Trace the liner by following the lash line. Extend the liner towards the end of the eyes, but leave a 2 to 3 mm blank space from the end like this. Then, lift the end of the liner. You will need to extend the straight line but with a slight lifted end. Next, draw a wing shape by connecting the line to the end of the lifted liner that you drew. It will look like a slanted triangle shape once you join them together, Fill it up and you will get a winged liner that will look great on monolid eyes. Then, take the darkest brown shade in the palette and smudge out the upper edge. This is to make the eyeliner and eyeshadow look more together. Next, we will fill in the inner corner eyeliner to extend the length of our eyes. Follow the shape of your inner corner and trace directly at the edge of your inner corner. Connect the liner to your front portion of your lower lash line. After finishing this step, our eyes are extended at both the front and the end. The outcome will look even better and more natural with the egg yolk cell. Moving forward to the third step, enhance the outer lower lash line to bring more dimension to the eye makeup. Take the darkest brown shade with a tip brush and blend it over the outer lash line. Brush it in upward direction to connect the shadows to the winged liner. You can really see that through these three steps, it made tremendous difference to her eyes. After completing these steps, you can now curl your lashes. Place the eyelash curler on your lid like this, then slightly push it upwards to lift those lashes. Once you can see the roots of lashes, clip to curl them. Apply mascara primer for the curl to stay longer. Next, put your favorite mascara. You can also draw fake lower lashes at the outer lash line. Remember to space about 2 mm distance from each fake lower lashes. Then, draw shorter ones in between the 2 mm distance. Needless to say, you can already see her eyes enhanced with the three easy steps. I believe that these three steps can be easily applied in your daily makeup routine. Making small adjustments in the application can really make a huge difference on the finished look. Now we have talked about the daily model at eye makeup look, which we have used low saturation colors like the earth tone colors. But what if we would like to try for some dazzling colors to attend a fun night out? What should we do to bring out the beauty of our monolid beauties? Here we have found Mia, the Duyan beauty influencer who has mastered the skill in monolid eye makeup. 
This makeup technique that she is going to show in this video is called the inverted eyeshadow technique. It is widely used in Korean girl groups or idols who have mono lid, such as Yeji from Itzy and Da Yun from Twice. This technique is not only applicable to mono lid but also for those who have close distance between their eyes to brows. Have you always wondered why your eyeshadow makes your eyes look puffy and smaller? If you have the same concern, you definitely shouldn't miss this tip. The inverted eyeshadow technique shifts the focus of eyeshadow from the upper lid to the lower lid instead. Although it is named as inverted eyeshadow, that doesn't mean that we will not have to do anything for the upper lid. Mia is applying contour to her upper lid. The contour will be applied at the dented region of your eye socket here. You can find it by feeling it with your fingers. If you have found it, the contour region will be just around here. Blend a little bit forward from this spot. Blend out the contour just within this region. Get a smaller brush to do it so it wouldn't be smudged all over your lid. Bring your brush towards the end of your lid too. Then, blend it by following the shape of your outer lash line to enhance the contour for egg yosal. Next, take the darker warm shade with a small flat tip brush like this. Remove the excess product by brushing it on the mirror. Then, trace to extend a liner from the end of your eyes. And now you would need to look into the mirror to check if the liner is extended long enough for the shape of your eyes. For the lower lid, Apply the eyeshadow by following the shape of your lower lash line. Then change a slightly bigger flat tip brush and get the second darker shade from the palette. Add it to the eyeshadow region that you applied just now. Layer and blend them out. Next, a pro tip here, lay your brush flat at the end of your lower lid and swipe it outwards. This is to make the blended region look bigger. With the same shade, add some at the inner corner with a light hand. Besides that, we will also need to add the same shade at the outer corner of your upper eyelid. By following the liner that you have traced just now, add it on top of it to make the look more even. It is fine if the eyeshadow can hardly be seen when you open your eyes. Mia says that the whole look will look natural when you're blinking. Mia is using a concealer liner to fill in the outer half of her waterline, or you can just use any gel liner that is in nude or white color for this step. Then, you will need to further blend out the concealer liner at the outer lash line. This step is to help the lower lid makeup to look cleaner. Next by using a gel liner in brown, black, or any color you prefer. Fill in the inner waterline liner. Start filling from the inner corner to the outer rim of your iris. Using the egg yo cell liner to further emphasize the shadows of her egg yo cell. Now, highlight the highest point of egg yo cell with a nude shade gel liner. The highest point is usually diagonally below the iris. Don't forget to highlight the inner corner too, as we did not put much makeup for our upper eyelid. Hence it's really important to make sure our eyelashes are curled and luscious. Mia mentions that she realized that monolid girls always have this issue. Even if you have curled your lashes, they still do not look curled when you open your eyes. So falses will be the best solution? If you have straight lashes, you will need to curl them before putting your falses. This is because curling them will help to open up the eye area and enhance your eye shape better. Apply mascara to lengthen your lashes, then put on individual falses. Mia is using the fairy type lashes. She has only used four individual fairy type lashes. Then, place one A-shape type individual lashes in between them. Mia says that if you are new and using individual lashes, the A-shape type has easier application compared to the fairy type. For lower lashes, you can just fake them by drawing a few strokes at the lash line. Add a winged liner. Add the glittery eyeshadow at the roots of your lash line. If you would like to go for a subtle look, you can definitely skip this step. Lastly, get a clean brush and take the setting powder. Brush it around your eyes area to make the eye makeup looks cleaner and blends into skin better. Look at the difference between them, the normal technique versus the inverted eyeshadow technique. We highly suggest our monolid beauties to experiment with this technique because we are sure that this new makeup tips will get you stares. The makeup journey of a monolid beauty must be challenging and frustrating. Battling through hours of makeup tutorials and practicing but still couldn't achieve your perfect look. We truly understand it, but we believe through experimenting and more practicing, you will definitely get there. What's even better? Monolid beauties have more versatility and freedom in experimenting different styles. Either exuding cool and mysterious style with your monolid, or going for dolly and cute style using double eyelid stickers. You can switch up your style whenever you want. And this is something that double lid beauties can't experience? So should we say that being a mono lid is a blessing in disguise? If you are interested in learning how to place double lid stickers according to your eye shape, we have a pretty informative video that might be helpful for you. Again, 
Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.